Welcome to Power Hour on Access TV. I'm Matt Pinfield. I'm Josh Bernstein. And I'm Katie Babs. Ladies, what the? <laughs> we couldn't even get a warning? Hey, it's Matt Pinfield backstage at Welcome to Rockville 2023 for the Power Hour here on Access TV. Hanging out right now with Danny Poe and Alex, The Warning. And it's yes. so great to see you. I've been doing things with you guys for quite a few years, even during the pandemic, right? Yeah. Yes. I got to do some stuff while you guys were in Monterey, Mexico, where you're from. We gotta explain to people that aren't familiar with the band yet, and I know you have a huge fan base worldwide, but how great it is. Your story is just one of the most inspiring stories. Oh, of you. you. know, you being three sisters from Monterey, Mexico, your love for rock and roll, and how you guys originally got discovered, and that, that was by covering Inner Sandman and putting yes, it up that's online. That's right. Exactly. YouTube was a wonderful tool that helped us, you know, just get our video out yeah. there, and people just started seeing it, and we're like, yes, we love rock and roll, and that's what uh, we want to do. And then when we started making our own music, that uh, medium, that outlet helped us get uh, eyes and ears on our music, and it's been... A ride since then. It's yeah. been an incredible ride because you've got so much love and support internationally, which is great. How old were the three of you when you did that first video? Oh, oh my God. Oh, I, I think, think it was. And you were playing. 14. The thing... Maybe. Then, maybe. Yeah, we were playing. I think no. I was 14. You were I was 14. Nine. Yes. I was 12. And, and you I was nine. You were nine. Yeah, nine. yeah it's amazing. Wow. 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 And, wow. and, and, and so Metallica saw the video and absolutely yeah. loved it. And then, of course, you got the, it comes full circle, right? Yes. Oh my God, yes. It connects beautifully in the Metallica Blacklist album. The fact that you, yeah. Metallica yes. put you on their album and invited you guys to that, do a that cover. That was insane. Yeah, when that we got that, like, those news, it was like, oh, my God, we're going to have to cover Entertainment again. But, like, our, our own, own version. version. They were pretty clear that they didn't want a straight-up cover. And we're like, how do you re like arrange Enter yeah, Sandman? And it was a song that started our careers. So we were pretty nervous about it. And it was also our first collaboration. We did this version of Enter Sandman with Alessia Cara. So it was just yes. like a very big jump of like, we're gonna do this and we have a week to do it. So yep. let's just go. It was great. It was we love um, the We got challenge. feedback from the band and they loved the song. Yes. Like, we love playing it live. We played it right now. Yes. And people went insane for it. It's always just a very fun story moment. Yes. I, th I think it's really incredible. And, you know, again, people have been so supportive because they love you. And uh, you went out on that tour with Hailstorm, yes. The Pretty Reckless, Lilith Czar. It was all strong females rocking. It. And uh, mm. tell me about that experience because literally... When we were interviewing uh, Lizzie Hale about giving you the guitar, right? Yes. She was actually in tears. She talked about that oh, paying it forward that? thing. Oh, No, I'm going to cry. <laughs> no, because I remember that day perfectly. The whole tour was amazing. Mm -hmm. We loved being in that environment because, you know, the, the headlining ads really pushed the environment for the whole tour. And it was such a nice... Uh, area to be in, uh, not welcoming, area, welcome, like welcoming yes, community. Yeah. you get yeah. what I mean, yeah. and that day of the guitar, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me, Lizzie, Lizzie has been my idol for the longest time, and she still is, and she will keep on being, because she's such an amazing person, and such an awesome musician, and everything she does, it's just like, well, I can't uh, yeah. believe that, and I play the Enter Sandman cover yeah. with the the explorer that Lizzie gave me that. It's time. so great yes. that she went out and bought that for you because she really yes. wanted you to have that and Amazing. have the experience that she had that she got the guitar from Shine Down. Yes. So it's just like that again. It's just one of the greatest stories about rock, the rock community, women in rock. I mean, it's yes. it's an incredible thing and the international story because your fan base, obviously, being from Mexico, right, and Spanish being your original, your 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 first language, yeah. but you do so great and it's just. It translates even in the music with songs like your last single, Choke, and of course, more of the video we're showing here on the, yes. on the show. Uh, tell me a bit about that, too. Has it been just great to get out there and see, you know, and now you're doing the same thing on your tour. You're yes. bringing out young women as well. You're bringing out yes. other bands. Let's talk about bringing out Holy Wars and Plush. Of course. No, we when we were building our own tour, we just kind of like felt 
the need and we were very inspired by the tour we went on with Hailstorm, the Free Records and Lilith Star to just kind of make this a super good environmentally tour and just kind of like uh, know the musicians that we know are out there that are super rocking women we just like we have to do this so we invited Plush and Holy Wars and it's been an amazing it's been experience. It's been awesome and it's the first leg of the Error World Tour. Yes. And we talk about like our international fans. It's the first time ever that we're going to head over to Europe. And yes. We're play over there. We leave in a week. I know. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me so nervous. In a week. Yeah. We, we have our first show with Muse. We're opening for them over there. And it's just insane to yeah. think. Insane. Just like last year, I don't think we would have ever imagined that we would be sitting here talking yes. about this. It's just amazing. And we feel very grateful to be able to share our music and our passion all over the world. It's it's awesome. How great was the experience of opening for Foo Fighters? They wanted you guys to open for them and play with them in Mexico City, not too far from where you guys grew up in Monterey. Yes, yeah. no, it was an unbelievable experience. We're never gonna forget it. And I think it's the first time we actually played in front of that many people and it's one of the most important stages in our country. Beautiful so being songs. there, with Foo, Foo Fighters was just... Foo, Foo Fighters was a band that we covered when we were young. Yes, it as well. It was like, oh, we have to play a challenging song. Let's cover a Foo, Foo Fighters song. Yes. So being recognized by the Foo Fighters and being invited to open for them in our home country was just an honor. It was that, awesome. That is so incredible. Yeah. You know, and, and people love to watch the videos that you guys have done, whether it's, you know, the different instruments that you play, whether it's playing drums, pop, you know, like just the things, all, all the stuff that you do online is really compelling and, and people love it. And, yeah. I, and I'll be like talking to someone and they'll go, oh, yeah, but I, I was watching this thing, the warning did. And I'm like, it makes me very happy to see that. Uh, talk to me about when you're on these festivals, like this great Danny Weber presents festival, Welcome to Rockville. Is it exciting for you to see other bands? Is that one of the things you do when you're not playing? Are you out there? And who are you excited to see? Yes, oh, yeah. when time permitting, we like schedule everything that we want to like, do. Yeah, yes, we, right we now. We look up like the lineup and we yes. schedule like, oh, we have to do this when we want to see these bands. We yes. saw Tiger, Tiger Cub. Cub. They, they, they were right before on before us, us but we've heard we great things about them. them. Yes. And we're going on Ship Rock together, so we we're like, oh, let's check them yes. out. They were awesome. We really wanted to see Bad Flower, Flower, but I think they're playing like, like right now. Right now. Yeah. But yeah. they're also going on Ship, Ship Rock, so, yeah. so we're going to get to see them either way. And you get to hang out with Josh and the guys. They're really good people. Yes. And of course, the headliners. We, I would love to see Evanescence. We haven't seen them haven't live, seen them. I but uh, I don't know what time our bus call is because we have to head over to we New York. We have a now. show in New York. Yeah. This yes. Sunday, and it's, a, it's a long drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I know, but, but that's yes. all right. Well, you'll, I'm sure if you don't get to see uh, Evanescence and Amy Lee tonight, you'll get to see him again. But you know, I just love this, and uh, uh, congratulations on. Uh, I can't, excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, he'll edit this. Congratulations on everything. When um, so the latest single just came out. What when's more new music expected for your fans? Ooh, okay. So All right. more just came out. The, mm -hmm. This whole process of new music has been very quick. We've been on the road on and off. So we had a writing session week weeks in LA, in LA yes. in February, and more was the first song that came out of those of writing that. weeks, and uh, we felt very confident and excited about this new sound that we're exploring. And uh, we have so much fun on stage, and we just wanted to put that into music and have song. people have a fun listening experience while still keeping the like integral, Energy. the warning sound. Yes. And uh, we just released more, and the reaction that we've been getting has been amazing, and we're super happy about it. And yes. we're very excited to find those little off times in between touring to continue recording. Get back into the music. studio. Yeah. Yes. And write and release singles and until yes. when you have enough material for an album. But it's yeah. great because, again, people love, it changes the way that people have, you know, absorb music and, and consume it and, and listen to it. And, and that's the thing. You can release singles and it just, and it's also, it goes along with the tour. It's a new song to add to the repertoire. Right. right? Yes. Which is great. Well, I want to tell you more. It sounds great. I love the direction you're going in. Thank you. And it just, it, like, you're right. It sits really well with Choke and all the other things that people really like and yeah, expect yeah. from the band. So thanks so much. It was so great to catch up with you guys here. Likewise. Ladies. Always yes. to see you. Yes. Yeah. Always a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, and we'll see you soon on the road again. Absolutely. Of course. Yes. On For the sure. Error Tour. Nice. There it is. The warning from Welcome to Rockville 2023. We're backstage. It's Access TV and the Power Hour.